All right, if you can hear me, type 80. Perfect. I'm gonna win it all back. Hello, Genovo. Hello, Exponto. Generic. The flames are calling. Oh, Sibir. Oh, whoa. These is definitely true twos. All right, let's make it happen. Uh, this is gonna be a test of my flexibility. Hopefully, I just get a two star sliver. Oh, wait, actually, Strape just got like the highest high roll ever. Wait, that's actually just supers. Wait, I actually just can play super sliver. Holy sh! That was actually like the best thing I could have gotten. It was literally units I already had and they synergized. I was like, I hope I get a Sivir, but not only did I get Sivir, I got Sivir and Gangplank. My God. We're actually insane. That was like a one in a hundred chance. It was a one in 13 chance of getting Sivir exactly and a one in 13 chance of getting Gangplank exactly. Although, to be honest, it wasn't just Gangplank I wanted. Uh, Galio would have been fine too. So it was a 1 in 13 and then a 2 in 13. I don't know what that multiplies out to. That was crazy. Okay. I'm actually down to like build towards Super's Sivir. I think it's really strong. Okay, so let me just like remind myself what I'm supposed to do. So at level 5, you put in Galio. And at level 6, you put in Senna. And you just roll for like all three stars. Is there anyone who has a start that could contest me? Make sure there's no hook. No, everyone's pretty weak. Oh, wait. Okay, he doesn't have a hook. Will you be streaming Fire Emblem on the 20th? Oh, dude, I'm so excited for Fire Emblem. I don't know if I'll stream it, though. Maybe. I'm kind of just thinking of playing it off stream. Just to enjoy it. Have you tried Jack yet? No, I have not. I'm still looking for a game where I start off with RFC. Um, I don't think I play this Fiora. Don't want to take this Fiora and just play at level five and like win streak forever. I'm kind of thinking I'm already gonna win streak forever anyway. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, wait a second. Do I lose this? Uh-oh. There's no way, right? Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna take this. Are you playing Sivir Reroll, or are you playing it for now? I, I have a lot of supers, so I'm actually down to play Super Sivir. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know. I couldn't decide what I wanted. I guess it was probably sword.
No, it's definitely sword, now that I think about it. I'll remember that for later. Because I definitely should need more sources of damage. You need to change the sign behind you. Oh, word on the street is that sign's going to change later today. Is Ron's bad on server? Uh, I suspect that she needs to have Gwinsu's Blast Whisper. That's why I was really sad that the Glove and Rod were unavailable. I don't think it's worth it. I just want to make sure I beat this guy first. Do I even beat this guy? I hope I do. Are you still training? Uh, not recently. I'm thinking about getting back into it though. I haven't done exercise in a while. Oh, what a chill game. I feel like I win for free. What the? Recon Yasuo is so weird. Down to roll like down to 30 here. And see if I can hit a two star. What the fuck? It's just business. I might just slam this hurricane. I don't think it's the best item. It was probably if I took the sword, I'd be left with a giant slayer. I think it'll do. Definitely should have taken that sword dude, what was I thinking? Wait, I'm already like almost at 3 star Sivir, what the hell? Wait, I didn't even realize I was this- I was like so close, I should just roll for it. I should just roll for it, holy crap. You sold one? I know, I sold one with the cloak. If I didn't sell it, I probably could have just rolled immediately and hit the 3 star. I didn't think I'd get so close. Okay, now the only question is do I want to level before I, I do this roll down? Uh, maybe second wind here. I'm gonna try to reroll for featherweights. Featherweights in. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna stay level 5. Get GP in, Sivir. Right, just one more, just one more. Nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure game's just over. I'm like a motherfucking high roller. Hello, Jirachis. I, I actually just like hit everything so fast. It was like the mother of reroll builds. In terms of like, I just got everything perfect. True twos just gave me Sivir and Gangplank specifically when I already had some and was interested in the build. Rerolled into Featherweights and I just hit, I hit like twice as fast as normal. That is weird. I literally got nine Sivirs before one Senna. Hello, Maui sucks. And now I, and now I just chill and enjoy my free win. Oh. Go nine. Sivir definitely needs a giant slayer. Oh, she definitely needs a last whisper. So I, I really regret not taking that sword so I can at least do last whisper. The hurricane is kind of okay. If you think about what hurricane does, it's basically, hey, double Sivir's damage. Or it's not double, right? It's um 1.5 extra damage. But she definitely needs a... Uh, 
that last whisper to have that penetrating value. I, I'm not gonna level up twice because I want the Galio. So I want to stay five. Okay, uh, I think we can chill. There's like just no way anybody beats me. So is there any urgency to roll? No. Actually, you know what? I'm probably supposed to try for the three stars, in which case I will do this. I was thinking like, what are my moves here? I could just take this three star Galio and then move on. And in that process of getting the last two Galios, you probably pick up some Lee Sins and Malphites. And at that point, like, you're gonna be at like five Malphites. Don't you want to just like continue? You can either go nine and just like say fuck the three stars, uh, three stars, like just putting good units. But like you have featherweights. I think it's correct to stay six. Oh, I can roll one time here. Two Galios. Damn. But yeah, uh, I wanted to move the Sunfire to the Galio because I knew he's gonna be three star first. So in terms of like keeping your win streak, I think it's optimal. In terms of like hitting all the three stars, it's definitely suboptimal to sell one Lee Sin. Did they buff supers at all in the D-Patch? No. Hello, Menace. I don't think supers are good. I just like high rolled the shit out of it. I got like a Gangplank and a Sivir early, and I was like, wait, maybe I play supers. And then I held one Lee Sin, and I got true twos, and I got fucking Sivir and Gangplank two. Like, is the game not just over? That kind of high roll is just like, all right, everyone, you already know at the beginning, everyone's just playing for a second. Is this the best build? No. The reason why it looks like it's really good is because I only play it when I massively high roll it. So it kind of looks like I'm high rolling it every game. But I only play it when I have a really good start. Otherwise, I would just play Sivir into Samira. Hello, I like. Oh, best case scenario for me is if there's no hero augment. 25% chance. If it's just like another random gold augment, I get like Celestial Blessing. Pog. All right, last whisper, please. Last whisper. Wait, I got a Galio. Oh, I got Infinity Edge. Wait, yeah. okay, I'm just slamming it. Hang on, I uh, let me hit that one Galio and Lee Sin and Malphite. I'll see this Keep it simple. I don't even know what other units I'm supposed to look for. I'm just gonna slam these. Galio! As long as I don't lose, I'll be fine. Gotta hit that one Galio, and I'll, I'm probably moving on. I didn't hit many Malphites. Alright, come on. Give me a hero aug. Alright, sorry. Give me no hero augment. Oh, damn it. Oh, I got make it rain again. I uh, okay. It's definitely not absolution. The support augment would have been fine. I'm done to just do Zach. Make it rain's like kind of awkward because you'd have to just play a random misfortune for no reason. I'm gonna just do super size. All right, I'm gonna try to hit this Galio. Oh, wow, just hit. Okay, and it's like a little psychotic, but. I'm just gonna go to zero gold. Yeah, I mean, that's just the end of the game for me. It's it's kind of a low roll on the augment, but everything else is so high roll, I'm probably still in first place. Like, I, I just can't imagine anybody beating this. Everybody else just got a lot stronger, and I didn't get much stronger at all. Like, I got a 1000 HP tank, or 2000? Yeah, I got a 2000 HP tank. Everybody else got, like, a core unit with a core synergy. But I was high rolling so hard before, it probably doesn't matter. Something else that's really awkward is like, uh, the only playable hero augment here was the tank sack, which supports my team in that it makes them tankier. But all my tank items are already gonna go to Galio because he's three star. If you had Senna in instead of Samira, we, would, we wouldn't have gotten that misfortune augment, right? Oh yeah, no, that's completely true. Honestly, I probably should have sacked that round just to do that because I was probably gonna win anyway. Next breath, my... That is definitely like an optimization I could have done. 
Palio. Yeah, if I get a remover, that's pretty pog. But there's no way I'm ever selling him. It reminds me of what Asa told me when he was coaching me about how, like, the value of just having two stars on the board is really big. Like, when you're playing... Oh, thank you. When you're playing Duelist and you just randomly have, like, a two-star Fiora or two-star Alistar, just, like, that extra body matters a lot. I used to be like, oh, well, like, the most important upgrades are the ones where you have items on them. But, like, even just having, like, a two-star two -star body to support you is a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. As far as you have supers... Yeah, I normally hate supers, but... Uh, I like Super Sivir specifically, and I high rolled it really hard, and it was completely uncontested. The reason why I don't like Supers is because they're always contested. In a, in a lobby where, like, reroll is good, uh, they're, like, Omega contested, and, like, I think playing, like, the lottery where you just, like, try to not be contested is really annoying. Oh, now you give me offensive items. Thanks a lot, guys. Take a TG. I just cannot think of any person who beats me here. I have Featherweights, which allows me to clump up like this. I'm doing this to uh, block Hacker Man, and then all my units move up anyway really fast. Actually, the first first plus ever. I dropped my salad. Wait, three percent chance of winning. What? There's literally no way, right? There's literally no way it's a 3% chance of winning. There's no way this isn't like a 100% chance of winning. Are you kidding me? It's not even close. Like, hello? You only got halfway through my front line. Yeah, what a weird way of saying 100% chance of winning. It was actually 103%, but it was cut off. Yeah, I believe it. There's literally no way I was losing. My stats are way too high. It's actually just such a ridiculous game. Such a ridiculous high roll. I wish I was more exciting. It's my first game of the day. I didn't I barely talked. Can't even upload this game to YouTube. Alright, give me a bow or a glove. Hmm. Just infinity edge. What unit am I even supposed to play here? I think I just go nine. Oh, I actually know exactly what unit to play. There's a there's a really good level eight unit here. I know there's one unit in particular who's really good here. Is it me? No, not you. Why is gameplay in between the Samira and the Sivir? Uh, prevent Hacker Man. I'm not scouting, I'm too lazy to. And then Sivir and Samira should always have like a little bit of distance between them. Wait, do I lose this? I lose! I lost! My Mr. 100 game! Oh, now you've done it. I got cocky. I didn't level. I thought I was fine. What did I lose to? Three-star Wukong. Oh, it's the it's the it's a really overpowered uh the really overpowered MF augment. What's really sad is I lost to the pizza bug, where Sivir throws her pizza into the abyss. If she didn't throw it into the abyss, I actually still would have won. Alright. You forced my hand. Now I will play one Belkaz to win the game.
Thank you, Alec257 for the bitch. And the Prime. Oh, I'm sorry, I was not paying attention. Welcome. Pokeball says, Box Box, can you, you missed my sub. Can I get two houses? Uh, sorry, we're all out of two house packages. Would you take a five house package? Uh, tank item? War monks? Oh. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright. Don't say I didn't warn you guys. Behold. The giant... A huge co Make this fun. Behold! The size! The girth! The three-star Giga Chicken! Oh yeah, I have a Wukong in my shop. I probably should have grabbed that instead. Wait, I'm losing. Wait, is this build bad? Is three-star Giga Chicken bad? Hello? Hello? Is it because I threw away my entire hero augment? All right, I'll, I'll go back to nine and put this guy in. Okay, it's definitely better if I were to, um... I'm, I'm pretty sure you just don't play Mecha Prime at all here. I'm pretty sure you just put the Zach, Zach back in. He's got the hero augment. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I playing three-star Giga Chicken? Oh no, this is Ronnie's kind of owning me. Oh God, Albert, box, box, Zhang, what are you doing? You're losing your senses all because of one huge. Wait, look at my gigantic Galio. Look at what happened to him. Okay, I'll go nine and I'll put Zach back in. I think if I hit Zach too, I might actually just sell the chicken. If you put all three of these items on Zach and then Mecha Prime him, it'd be not only huge, it'd also be Dunger J and funny and probably better. All right, any good tank item? Oh, Bramble? Oh, Bramble or Declaw? Uh, let's take a look. AP, AP, but he has a JG and AP. So it's probably just Declaw. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start positioning now. You forced me. You forced my hand. It's time for me to start playing the game. Let's do this. Behold. The Galio of Infinite Girth. The reason why I'm losing is because I have no loss with Spur or Giant Slayer. My saver is falling off. But it's fine. Oh, you're so close to executing both of them. Okay, get a two-star Zac. It's so close. Samira almost got the execute off. Size Mecha Prime Zach. How 
can you kill the 5,000 HP, Zack? The chicken sacrificed himself for this. And when he dies, he will split into even more blobs. You can't kill him, LeBlanc. He's too big. You can't handle this man. The declaw heals 500 HP per second. All right, who dares stand between me and my first place? All right, I need Sivir to hide behind Zack. All right, as long as this Zack stands between Sivir and Misfortune, Sivir will never die. This guy is too big. Look at this health bar. And when he dies, he'll split into two smaller blobs, each with 2,000 HP. Yeah, you may have killed him now, but look at this. Each blob's got 2k health. Wait. He's so strong. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Kek, <laughs> wait. There's only two items here. Play Wukong over Leona for Defender. Yeah, against the all AP team. Actually, there was a tiny bit. Let's see. Someone's about to get hurt. Oh, I'm definitely not doing it now. All right, two Zacks. I'm losing because I have no Lost Whisper. Also, this Misfortune Augment is beyond busted. But I believe in my Super Sivir to clean this up. Oh, Sivir's somehow alive! Yes! Finish her! Before she casts! Dude, that was perfect! She was barely just hiding in there in the shadows under that misfortune ult and barely didn't get executed. That four ace was like two HP away from finishing her off. Dude, the best build of the current patch gets owned by a pizza and a Donger J Zack. Your four aces end game cap board with two star Philios, two star MF. The beyond overpowered bunny mercenary is nothing compared to one pizza girl. Supers without the three stars. You are nothing. Cool, cool game. Let's say that again sometime. Actually like the freest first place of my life. Okay, well actually the ending was not free. I, I had to work for the ending, but the early game and mid game, it was like, wow. I, I could have went AFK after hitting my three star server. I would still have gotten at least fourth.